hi guys welcome to my channel this is joe and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to generate ai resumes so we're going to be using the resume builder by ai Org to generate tailored resumes for our job application so this tool can be used in two different ways you can generate a general resume or you can create tailored resume based on the particular job description by just providing the url to the job so if you say job on a job board you can add uh, copy the URL, paste it into the script, and then this bot with the AI is going to generate tailored resume for that particular job. So with the tailored resume, you'll be able to pass through the first stage of screening, which is usually the automated stage using the ATS systems that um, all these recruiters use. So to use this script, it's pretty easy. Um, it has a detailed readme, which you can follow through, and then you'll be able to use just a Python script that does um, various things in the background and uses AI to um, customize your resume to make sure that you get something that is still out for the particular job. So to use this script, you'll be needing Python. So I won't go over the installation of Python. You can find links for Python installation in the readme of the repository. I'll be linking to this repository in the description. So you can click on the link in the description and you'll be able to access this repository. So we are just going to get started with the process. So the first thing we need to do is to create a folder on your computer where you're going to be housing this project in this case i've created a folder called um, tutorial in my document right so i'm going to open this in my terminal if you're using windows you open this in your shell i'm in this directory right now and the next thing i want to do is to clone this repository so i'm going to copy the url for this i go to my terminal and then i can do git git clone I paste the url and then I wait for okay that's done so now the next thing I want to do is I want to go into the directory that house there's housing this code and this is a directory so I cd into this directory and I go enter press ls you can see I can see everything that is in this directory so the next thing I want to do is you open this with your favorite code editor for me I use vs code and then I get a very nice window like this okay Cool. So now I have opened this up in VS Code. So very quickly, let's go back to the um, repository and then I go to the readme. How do you use it? Clone it. We have entered into the folder. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to install the requirement. But before I do that, I always recommend you use a virtual environment. This is very important so that um, your libraries and code will not be conflicting with other applications on your system so i'm going to do python 3 i think mvf virtual so you can check online for tutorials on how to install virtual environments on your computer and maybe in the next couple of days i will make a video that shows you how to install virtual environments on your computer so virtual environment will allow you to create a kind of box that houses your current application so that way you can put just the things you need for that particular app inside that particular container so the next thing we do is we activate it i've created it now i have to activate it. so i'm going to do source virtual pin activate on windows um this command will be different a little bit on windows is going to be virtual script virtual script activate that's for windows but i'm on the linux system so i'm going to be using this command now as you can see i'm in the virtual environment right here so what i want to do now is i want to go to the code base and i need to make some edits so once you access this the first thing you want to do is you want to supply your information there's a plain text resume here that gives you a template for what you need to do so you need to put your name your surname your address your phone number your github url you need to fill out of this information because the ai will be using this information to generate customized resume for you so what i usually recommend is this so that you don't run into errors go to the example that has been provided copy everything right now go back to the one you need to fill up and then replace everything right here so what you do is out of the box you get um, a template for what you need to fill so that you don't get confused. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change my name. Um, okay. 
and then I can change any of this information. You can customize this to whatever you, you like. So now I've filled up my personal information. The education is there. The experience is there. Please make sure you customize this um, to suit um, your own experience and whatever it is you want to apply for. Uh, make sure that you put these skills or the skills that you think would be um, related to the positions you are applying for. So these skill sections are very, very important. You are going to see something like this at the end of your resume, you can see. So this is where the skills are majorly used for the resume creation. So this is a sample resume that was created. You get this with the repository. Okay. So now another important thing you need to do is you need to add your secrets. Go to the secrets here, file here, and then add your open AI key. So this um, script, this application works with open AI. So you have to use the open AI models to generate this. Um, our resume so you need to put your keys here there's a link to a tutorial here that shows you how to generate your key if you don't have one so please generate your key and paste it right here so that's pretty you only need to do two things put your api key and then fill in your personal information here and when you are done with that all you have to do is to run the application and then it will start working so um, i already have one which i've set up with my keys and everything and i think i'll just continue from there so here we are this is um i've added my secret to this um particular code base so now i want to create a resume from my um, details let me customize this so that you can see let me change this to mike berlin okay so now we have a new name here so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to um, let me make a little bit change i don't want to overwrite our current resume that we have so i'm going to put resume to so it's going to save the new file as resume2.pdf so i'm just going to go go to the terminal and then i do python main.py then it's going to ask me what do i want to do i can use the up and down keys on my computer to move this so i want to create a resume that's the first one i'm not creating it based on a job description i just want to create a default resume so i click create resume i click enter for the default style and then you're going to wait for a couple of seconds or minutes depending on um, your network so by now it's working in the background to generate my resume based on the information i have provided you remember i filled this with Mike Berlin and then I left all the other information so make sure you customize this to your own personal information and then you just wait for it to generate the resume when it's done it's going to pop up a PDF file to let us know that it's done yeah here we have it okay so now that window is going to close by itself but from the um, file editor here, you can see from my code editor, I can open this and you can see the name is Mike Bolin and then it has created my resume for me. Now, this resume is created based on the information I provided in this um, plain text resume file, right? So it's going to use this to generate this. But what if I want to customize um, my resume to a particular job? Take note of what it puts here. Look at this. You can see the description here recognized by the community with over 150 stars on this top blah 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 so now i want to create a customized one so first thing i'll do is i don't want to override this so i'll change this to resume 3 okay dot pdf so you can change the name to whatever you want and then up next i'm going to grab a job link so i want to apply for this job and i want the ai to tailor my resume to match this job and all these cues that they are looking out for. So I'm just going to grab the URL from Indeed and then I go to my terminal, I do python main.py. Now it's going to ask me what do I want to do. I use the up and down arrow keys. I click on create resume based on description. I choose my default style, press enter, and then I paste the URL. So there's a shortcut here. I do control, shift, and V. That's how you paste to terminal, control shift V, and then I have the job URL here, and then I hit enter, and then you wait. So now 
what is going to happen is it's going to go to indeed to actually check out this job and then it's going to extract information about this job the ai will now use this information to craft a resume that is going to be so tailored to this particular job such that if this resume is passed through the ats system um, by the recruiter it's going to come out successfully and then you'll be able to pass the first stage of screen so now it's doing this job in the background the ai is looking at the page looking at things and then we just have to wait for it to generate our resume so now when it's done with the resume generation i'm going to show you the difference between the first one that it generated and the second one that is tailored so you are going to see key differences between the two resumes and then you see how it has customized and tailored it for the particular job that i want to apply for so now it's doing its thing in the background so you just have to wait for um a minute or less and then you're going to have the final resume so this is the job description you can see okay it's done so but then let's look at the job description they're looking for a bachelor's degree masters in engineering focus on ai and machine learning project understanding of ai principles and gen ai skills such as methodology like agile scrum and stuff like that so now let's go back to check our resume so this is the resume that was created resume three mike berlin this is my university this is my work experience now i want you to take note something look at this side project section this is where it gets interesting for the side project it says developed ai based platform for job matching because the job is ai related it customizes this section so that it's going to fit into what they are looking for let's compare it with the previous one the previous one yeah you can see this one is not tailored it's only said recognize by community by with over 150 GitHub stars, blah, blah, blah. Look at this. This is the default information we provided. But when we decided to customize it with the job URL, and then I just, uh, I pasted the job URL into the um, terminal. Now it's creating a customized resume with keywords that uh, the, the recruiters are going to pick up and then they, you'll be able to get more interview opportunities. If you look at this also. It's talking about building a custom tool for scripting, analyzing public data and stuff like that. Now let's go to the skills section. If we go to the skills sections, you will see keywords like AI ethics and compliance, large language models, natural language processing, user experience design, agile methodologies. If you look at this place, they were asking for agile. So the AI added agile methodologies for you cloud-based AI solutions, communication and reporting. Once this the resume is, is passed through the ETS system, you will definitely um, be moving on to the next stage of the interview process because the skill section has been customized for you. If you compare it with this one that was not customized, you can see whether you have a cloud computing, databases, network security, machine learning, cyber security. This is the first one we generated without the job description URL. But now, with the job description, you are able to get a more tailored resume that is going to get you more interviews and hopefully help you get more jobs. So that's how easy it is to use this tool to customize your resume. Let me do one more example. I'm going to find another job on um, okay, Senior Project Manager. I'm going to find another job on Indeed. Let's try with this new job. Okay project manager okay so i'm going to grab this job link and then i'm going to run the script again python main dot pi so i'm going to choose the option to use job description url and then i'll click enter for the default style now i paste my url i click enter so now we'll wait again the the script is going to go to the job page download the information the aiv pass the information look at all the requirements and the stops they want and then it's going to customize your resume such that um, it's similar it's very closely related to all the things that the recruiters are looking out for in the application so right now the ai is reading this page looking at everything they want and then it's going to customize your resume to match this 
particular um, job posting. So let's just wait for it to do its thing. So um, let me see the stops they have here, the particular keywords on this page. Um, they're looking for various keys, quality assurance and compliance, coordinating team schedules, functional managers in conducting performance reviews and providing feedback, communication and documentation, um, bachelor's degree, they are looking for experience in project management, um, project management software and tools, communication and interpersonal personal skills and stuff like that. So, I think it's still loading, it's taking a little bit of time. So we're going to wait for it. Okay, so it's, it is in the second stage of generation. It has um, captured all the information from the job description. So now it's actually creating the resume. So I think in a couple of seconds, we should have the resume. Good, here we are. The resume is done. So now we're just going to check it out. Um, Okay, good. Now, this is the resume. As you can see, let's go to this additional skills. You discover that it has added agile project management, risks assessment, systems design, data analytics, collaboration software, budget management, um, technical writing, interpersonal skills, and every other thing. Um, as you can see, it has actually customized the skills section. And if this resume is to be put through the ATS system, that's automated system that recruiters use to review CVs for the first stage. You are going to scale through easily because you have all the keywords that they are actually looking for, which is pretty good. It's even added examples like Asana and Trello to the skill section. So with these, you will be guaranteed to uh, get your resumes viewed by the recruiters and hopefully get, a, get an interview and be able to land a job. So guys, that's how easy it is to use this. So, so basically once you get the tool, the first thing you want to do is you want to edit this, customize this, add your secret, your open API key, and then you do python main.py and you can start using this tool to generate customized resume for each job you are applying to. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers.